Many people grew up being afraid of God. Their church or their religion taught them that God is a harsh judge, that he watches them from heaven, just waiting for them to mess up. And then the moment that they do, he can throw a lightning bolt at them or somehow bring destruction into their lives. But that's no way to think of God. You can't love God if you're afraid of him. The Bible teaches that as Christians, we shouldn't be afraid of God. Look at 1 John 4, 17. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We can see here why God doesn't want us to be afraid of him because if you're afraid of someone, especially someone like God, it's because you're afraid of punishment. But the Bible tells us that as Christians, God doesn't want to punish us. God loves us and he wants us to be in a relationship with him. This verse tells us that there is no fear in love. When you receive the love of God in your life, when you love God and then love other people, it pushes out fear. It pushes out especially the fear of punishment. We don't have to be afraid of God because we've received the forgiveness of our sins through Jesus Christ who died for us on the cross. And so we don't need to be afraid of God, but we understand that God is on our side. God loves us and he has rescued us from punishment. But the Bible actually tells us that there is a different type of fear that's good for Christians to have in their lives. As Christians, we should fear the Lord. Now, you're probably thinking that I'm making two very contradictory statements, but I'm not. Because the word fear has different meanings, and there's a different kind of fear that Christians should have toward God, and we read about it in Proverbs 9.10. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. The Bible describes something called the fear of the Lord that it says is the foundation of wisdom. That if you want to live a wise life, a God-honoring life, you need to have the fear of the Lord. So what is that? The fear of the Lord is a reverent awe toward God. Notice there in Proverbs 9 that the fear of the Lord is paralleled with knowledge of the Holy One. When you really grasp who God is, when you understand His character, when you understand His love, His mercy, His compassion, His power, His holiness, it leads to a reverent awe of God. We could also describe this as a sense of worship. That when you really understand who God is and what he's done for you, and you understand what he's rescued you from, you have the fear of the Lord. But this doesn't mean that we fear God's punishment in our lives, because again, we're not afraid of God, but we reverently worship him as the creator God, the one who loves us and cares about us, and who has brought us into a relationship with himself. This is the kind of good fear that the Bible teaches us to have toward God. Now go ahead and pause this video and discuss some of these questions.